After an accidental shotgun blast left Richard Norris's face extremely disfigured, he spent years living in isolation. Multiple surgeries failed to correct his injuries, and he felt his future was hopeless. It was Dr. Eduardo Rodriguez who changed everything. The first time he came into our clinical appointment, he barely spoke. He was so embarrassed of his appearance, of the way he looked. Dr. Rodriguez is a surgeon at the R. Adams Cowley Shock Trauma Center in Baltimore, part of the University of Maryland medical system. The son of Miami immigrants from Cuba who made sacrifices for their children's education, Rodriguez studied hard. He has specialties in plastic and reconstructive surgery, craniofacial surgery, oral surgery, as well as microsurgery, which meant he was uniquely qualified to treat Richard's injuries. When you're missing the upper and lower lip, it's a very difficult area to recreate. So we could have done surgery on him forever. He never would have looked normal, would have functioned normal. This is how Richard looked before his surgery. And after more than a year, here he is today. For the first time in 15 years, he can smell and taste again. He shaves like a normal 38-year-old and has teeth to brush. His hair has blended with Joshua's, the donors, and with minimal visible scars, it isn't obvious he's had a face transplant. Nice and straight, look at me, Richard. Dr. Rodriguez concedes Richard's face is not perfect, but he says it pushes the boundaries of medical science. It's the most extensive and most comprehensive face transplant in medical history. In April, at its annual gala, the Shock Trauma Center celebrated all the medical staff. Richard was the guest of honor. With Cynthia and Dr. Rodriguez by his side, he showed his face with dignity and addressed nearly 2,000 people in spite of his speaking difficulties. He made a point to thank his donor, Joshua Aversano. Well, I always be grateful to you and to your family for this gift of life. Thank you.